Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Rescue Entire Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are going to talk about bulking agents, beating agents, gelling agents and glazing agents. First, let's talk about bulking agents. Bulking agents are food additives that increase the bulk volume of foods without affecting its taste. Normally, bulking agents are used as weight loss aid for the ability to deliver fullness and decreased appetite. And they increase the volume of food without significant contribution to the available energy. Ammonium alginate Benzoyl peroxide, carrageenan, and ethyl cellulose are some examples for bulking agents. Pasta and noodle products, frozen fish, fish fillets, sterilized and UHD creams, cheese analogs, and frozen desserts like products use bulking agents during their processing. The next type of food additive is bleaching agents. They are formulation that widen or lighten substance by solubilizing color producing substances or by altering their light absorbing. In food industry, bleaching agents are used to inhibit browning or discoloration of food materials and also they have antibacterial activity. Benzoyl peroxide, sodium sulfide, sulfur dioxide are some examples of bleaching agents in the food industry. Flour, bakery foods, cheese, natural sugars, natural oils, waxes, gums and starches like products use bleaching agents. The next type of food additives is gelling agents. They are additives that form gel when dissolved in a liquid paste as a colloidal mixture forms a weakly cohesive internal structure. They are organic hydrochloroids or hydrophilic ego inorganic substances. Gelling agents also function as stabilizers and thickeners to provide thickening without stiffness. Gelling agents can improve textural and sensory properties of foods. They work synergistically with emulsifiers, increase the stability and viscosity of the food by binding its large molecules without affecting the flavor. Carotenan, gel and gum, conjac flour and pectins are some examples for gelling agents. Gelling agents are important in foods such as desert jellies, pie and cake fillings, custards and puddings, textured foods and vegetables or meat products. Then let's see what are glazing agents in foods. Glazing agents are food additives used to cause the outside of food to give it a shiny appearance and or protective coating that can extend the shelf life. Glazing agents protect the external surface of the fruit stuff, improving the shelf life of fruits and vegetables. In addition, glazing agents impart a brighter exterior to fruit candies, increasing their consumer appeal. Ammonium alginate B wax, ethyl cellulose, and hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose are some examples for glazing agents. Foods such as fresh fruits, vegetables, bakery products, chocolate, chewing gum, and other confectionery products use glazing agents during their processing. So, here is the brief overview of bulking agents, bleaching agents gelling agents and glazing agents. You can search for the details from books 
research papers. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this. Hope to catch you in next time and thanks for watching.